You should probably keep your dreams to your chest. Everybody don't want to see you blessed. Probably better if you just say less. Because some of your people ain't really your people. Some of your people ain't really your people. People you love can truly be evil. Some of your people ain't really your people. People you love can truly be evil. Your outside perception would look at me and see nothing but mess without, underst without even understanding why there is a mess. Could it be drugs? No. This is the result of your family not wanting to see you at your best. It's really easy to say from your outside perception, from your outside looking in, that, oh, it's just in the mind. You can free yourself. Really? This is real, by the way. No AI. No fakeness over here. And by the way, I'll make another video for that too. And by the way, in short, in this video, in being of right sound in mind, I do not approve anyone using my material, any creative material I don't approve of anyone taking my shit. That includes music and cr all the creativity that I have put online. And physically too. That means music and all the artwork that I've ever published. I do not approve of anyone unless you call me directly and ask, and just simply ask. But um, anyway, on this episode of God Hates Me, and here's why, it's my family, and I tell you why. They use religion, they use their own experiences and whatever they never experience in their life, which would they never understand, and put all this shit on you energetically just to the point of you have no hope for yourself. You just really give up, which is I'm really at right now. This family of mine I would say mostly my mother's side and all the elders of that family do not ever want to see me at my best unless it's with their, within their religion. I guess God sides with my family and everyone else. And I, and no matter how good I am, no matter how much good I bring, no matter what any good I do, despite my mistakes and the forgiveness of self, still I'm, I don't deserve shit. This is my all of my reality right now. I seriously have no money but recyclables. My car is down. And my 
really my parents. I might die for saying this, but I don't give a fuck no more. I'm 31 years old. With autism, by the way, and a disability. I lived on my own for 12 years with little help. 12 years I lived on my own. Trying my fucking hardest to make it. But as soon as I really better myself, there comes my fucking family. They don't understand shit that I go through or even the process of how I want to even heal myself. I already have the solutions. It's just my fucking family's energy that's bothering me. Because they don't understand it and refuse to understand it because they think it's fucking evil. They think it's weird. Anything under the sun but positive. That's the life I live. And pretty much everyone's fed up with me because of just how I am. A miserable person, the only miserable person in Stockton who talks about death. Well, yeah. Because they really appreciate, would really appreciate me more if I'm dead. And it's true. As soon as I die, here come the fucking tears. And coulda, shoulda, woulda. <sighs> Had y'all paid attention and gave me a fucking chance, I wouldn't even be in this fucking position right now. They say care, but you should not care about what people think of you, but and you should make your own table and all that bullshit. But don't you need people in order to make yourself successful? Don't you? How are you successful without people? But at the same time, not caring about what other people think or your experience and your perception will not ever align to mine. So unless you're disabled and you have a family that has trapped you to the point of giving up your whole dreams... Just because it really makes you better to the point it's not where they see themselves either. That's the life I fucking live. What am I going to do about it? I can't do shit about it. I have no money. I'm fucking disabled. I'm considered a li- a, fu- a fucking liability to... Any fucking company in this fucking world. I am a disabled black woman. I am a disabled black woman. With all this fucking talent. In my fucking essence. In my fucking possession. And... Just because I'm fucking disabled and I have autism, I'm considered a fucking liability. And also add that I'm fucking black too. Of course, no, it's the fucking hair. I don't give a fuck what you say. It is what it is. So fuck your perception. And fuck your point of view. Because it would not ever align to mine. It would not ever align to my life. As soon as y'all learn about individualism and sovereignty, I'm not ever going to listen to anything y'all have to say. I already have the solutions. I just need the fucking money. 
That's all I need. I just need money for those solutions because, of course, even healing cost you fucking money. Healing costs you money. This is just what it is. But until I am healed and then until I have all the money that I have, I have to even heal myself. Until I have the fucking freedom for myself, which is not really in the fucking mind, but in this fucking situation that I fucking live in right now. Until then, it's rest in peace, Mahesha.